And now we're going to bring out our very first company. That company is Giftbit. And presenting for Giftbit are Leif Baradoy and Brian Dwyer. Welcome to the battlefield, guys. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Leif Bardoy. My company is Giftbit, and we are an e commerce currency platform. So, businesses issue their own currency all the time, and that comes in the form of things like gift cards, promo codes, and refund credits. Take, for example, a recent Amazon.com campaign. You buy a $50 gift card, and Amazon will add an extra $10 of promo credit to your account. There's just one catch you got to spend the $10 in the next two weeks. So, big businesses have figured out that they can use custom currency in their targeted marketing to get you to their site and compel you to spend. So, they invest a ton of time and money building out technology to enable this flexible custom currency. But enabling custom currency is actually really hard to do. It's complicated, and payment systems aren't set up to do it well. You have to track every code, every user's interaction with a code. You have to make it easy for your team to access, control how, when, and who can spend it. And you have to be able to associate your promotional value with your gift cards and refunds. So if you're one of the 300,000 businesses that run their own online checkout, you're stuck building your own custom currency solution yourself until now. Giftbit has built a software as a service platform to solve this problem. We have built a web application and a powerful API to enable a business to have, distribute, and manage their own custom currency. So let's, oh, Giftbit integrates easily with a merchant's checkout through a simple API integration. It's very easy for developers. And then marketing teams get all the tools they need to be able to control, send, and track their custom currency. So let's take a look at where we're at today. So this is Socks in the Box, one of our customers. We powered the consumer gift cards on their website, and our codes work in their checkout. Now, their biz dev guy, Chris, just landed a pilot distribution deal with Dollar Shave Club. So as a perk, club members are going to get $20 to Socks in the Box. Here's how easy it is for Chris to create that order. He logs into Giftbit. Um, he selects the type of value that he's creating. In this case, it's promotional currency. He sets the amount. The time period of the promotion starts the day. He'll set it for 30 days. Adds the number of codes he needs to create. After that, done. He gets a file of codes, in this case, with all the data he needs to pass off to his distribution partner, and they can track everything. Now, as an admin, Chris is able to see all his business's custom currency, their gift cards, their refund credits, and their promotional value. So let's take a look at a new user acquisition campaign that the marketing team's running. Looks like it's going really well. 66% of people who received a free $5 offer have actually redeemed it in the checkout, and there's still two weeks left to go. OK, now let's switch gears and see what the consumer experience looks like. This is Rita, the recipient. She got a $40 gift card to Socks in the Box for her birthday. Now, life got busy for her, and she's completely forgotten to spend that value. But using Giftbit, Socks in the Box is actually able to incentivize Rita to come back to their site and spend that money. Here's how they do it. So Rita gets a reminder email to spend the value, plus she gets an extra $10 her in promotional value. And of course, she has to spend it in the next two weeks. Her 40 bucks just turned into $50, and so she doesn't want to lose that free money. She goes shopping. The company gets a new customer and clears that gift card as revenue, and uh, you know, Rita gets a, so you know, a sock subscription. So that's awesome. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about Giftbit. So for the past three years, we've been reselling digital gift cards to marketers. We've run promotional campaigns for CVS, Target, Red Bull, and Autodesk. And we've seen firsthand where existing infrastructure and home-built systems are failing to drive new sales and meet the needs of online businesses. So we're here to fix that problem. We've priced our product starting at $90 a month to make it accessible to businesses of any size. 
$90 a month gets you 1,000 active codes. It's $15 a month per 1,000 codes thereafter. Right now, we're working with beta customers, onboarding larger businesses like ClassPass. We have an integration with Shopify Plus, and we're building out our Stripe and Braintree integrations as well. Successful businesses need the right tools to grow. And no one builds their own CRM anymore. They use Salesforce. And no one's going to build messaging and authentication because they can use Twilio. In the same way, no one needs to build their own complicated custom currency because they have GiftBit. Today, I'm excited to announce, just in time for the holiday season, uh, GiftBit's e-commerce currency platform ready for your online business. Sign up now. Get an invite at giftbit.com. Thank you very much. All right, Giftbit. Nice job. Uh, judges, who wants to get us started? I, I can start. Um, so there are other gift card platforms out there like Cashstar and Tango. Can you talk a little bit about how your platform and solution is differentiated relative to them? So um, both those two uh, companies that you meant are built, built into uh, gift card processors. So they're not actually processing the transaction. So uh, Tango is actually a reseller of digital gift cards. Um, Cashstar uh, works more as a um, using the existing payment networks, the old school BIN networks. So what we've seen is that online businesses don't have to go back to those analog payment systems, and they're wanting distribution for their own custom currency and to also run promotions that doesn't have to be tied to the, you know, the same payment network that Visa runs on. So we see this as a, a digital first play, whereas those other companies have tied themselves back to the, um, you know, the existing payment system that, that runs credit cards. I got one. Oh, good. Um, just a quick follow up there. Uh, in terms of the number of folks that are using you guys, you mentioned a number of different companies and in different industries. What's the sweet spot for you? Is it, what's the persona? What's the industry you want to target first? Yeah, we've really s seen that um, mid-sized online businesses that have started to build out their own um, custom currency solutions and then are failing to have those scale or give them the distribution they need are really our sweet spot. They're also willing to pay more. So um, there's a sort of very early stage, you know, build or buy or you know, hack a solution together. Yeah. Um, although we can certainly serve those customers, the pain becomes more obvious when people start trying to build this stuff themselves. Um, so does that, does that yep. get to your question? Yep. Just so I, actually, I'll follow on on that a little bit. Um, sort of kind of what are your hopes and dreams kind of question. Um, how, you know, what, how, how, do you, how many customers do you have to have and how much activity do you have to have to become a big company? So we really think that the, the, one of our killer features and use cases is the ability to associate um, you know, the gift card value and refund credits with strategic targeted promotions. Uh, so, you know, the, it's really the, about the size of businesses we're going after. I think there's a wonderful opportunity to take care of a lot of small companies and enable them with powerful technology. But really, we want to be processing, you know, a lot of volume for, um, you know, mid-size and large merchants. So, so you wouldn't mind if you became the gift card, gift card solution for Amazon? Um, you know, we really uh, absolutely would not mind that at all. Uh, the, one of our key insights, though, is that gift cards are only one type of currency that a business has. <coughs> and one of our sort of, yeah, our insight is that by uh, being able to connect promotional value with gift cards, refunds, and credits, and having that all within one system, that that is, um, you know, that's an important need that businesses have and is being seen in the market. So the, con the consumer experience um, starts, you, you showed that email. Is that, is that being sent by the partner that's getting this Excel spreadsheet with codes, or is that being sent by the company that's using your product? Uh, cur currently, um, the company using our product can control the distribution of their own codes. We're working on things like mobile wallet integrations where we will do the distribution for them through templating. Yep. We have that capability in, um, yeah, we're, wor we're working on that. We think we can do distribution better than our customers. Uh, but we want to give our customers flexibility as well. I'm kind of wondering where like the identity thing goes. Do you think that you'll, at the end of the day, own identity of consumers and be able to handle their kind of aggregate 
you know, codes that they accumulate and they're entitled to use, or do you think that that's going to stay the property of the customer? We think it's um, pulling identity and identifying information into sort of using us for your account credits and promo will really enable things for marketers. So we'll connect to CRM systems and your HubSpot, but being able to identify you know, a user or a set of users based on tags within our system and then do strategic marketing to them is uh, a critical piece of our play. I, I think this is great. I, I, really like, I really like it. I think this, uh, this is a huge opportunity uh, in, in this market. Um, yes. I like a lot the, the smart uh, additional promotion like, that you add. You might create a, a behavior that uh, might be to wait that the card almost expire to get more money. So I don't know if you thought of that. Yeah, so we've seen that some customers have wanted to, um, instead of refunding your credit card, we'll give you a gift card with additional value. And so we are attentive to the fact that it might incentivize negative behavior. Um, these are the sorts of questions that get asked when you enable something new. So we're watching that, but we haven't, it's too early to say that that's a problem yet. And you, you, you might find other ways, but, but I, I like the idea a lot. Um, it's kind of almost a side question, but um, a lot of companies sometimes, it's not that they rely on this spillage of gift cards, the unused um, of some gift cards, but, but they, they count on it because it would damage their, their business model in a way. Is that something you incorporate in your... Uh, in so your unspent gift card value is actually uh, very legislated on a state-by-state -state basis. Businesses want customers and sales. If a gift card value isn't spent, the company will actually have to pay it to the state in tax in five years. They would much rather have a customer and an additional sale right. rather than sit on cash flow for five years and then pass it to the government. Yeah. Customers and sales are king. All right, one more round of applause for GiftBit. Thank you, everybody. Great work, guys. Good job.